We're recording. Good. So now the questions. Uh, we'll start with James. Uh, Doc, I would like to go back to the, the lightning strike. Um, and so what I used to think was that uh, by me um, um, vocalizing or, or being dramatic, uh, I, that was like a, a release and, and, and it took me a, a while to sort of fight against that, that idea. Uh, um, so I, I, I just like to point that out that for, for me at least, um, that wasn't obvious that that, that, that was a necessarily a bad thing, that the, the drama part, uh, venting exactly. Uh, that, that, uh, and for a while I thought, oh, no, I'm still going to vent, it'll make me feel better. And it took me a while before I realized it didn't make me feel better and it wasn't the thing to do. And now I see it much more clearly now that you've uh, uh, designed it here. But my only uh, question about all this is uh, when we're breathing, is it always necessary to breathe through the nose? Is, is it always nose breathing? Yeah, that's a good question. And the answer is, is it depends on what kind of breath you're doing. A really good grounding breath. I'm glad you asked that actually. Uh, when you're breathing, uh, what I think some science uh, shows is breathing in through the nose is what we and then out through pursed lips. So pursed lips, I'll just show for the camera. Inhale through the nose. So letting your, your lips blow out. Uh, that creates additional stimulation of your body, which will more efficiently ground you. Now, there's many kinds of breath in yoga. So the breathing, oh, there's so many kinds. Like a really good one for a lot of people is alternate nostril breathing. And it does work. Uh, where you block one nostril, breathe in, breathe out. Block the other nostril, breathe in, breathe out. Block the first nostril, breathe in, breathe out. Block the other nostril, breathe in, breathe out. That alternate nostril breathing for about three minutes is an excellent way to balance the hemisphere. So there's many ways to breathe. When you breathe in and out through the nose, if you ever stick your finger in your nose, because lots of people have, it's sensitive in there. If you stick your finger in your mouth, it's not as sensitive. So when you breathe in through the nose, you can really feel it. And so that will wake you up. There's, it also heats the air. There's a lot of good things about breathing through the nose. You can. And, uh, but there's many kinds of breaths, so some, sometimes we do cannon fire exhales in yoga, like we're <sighs> blow up some anger. There's all sorts of things like that, uh, that we're not getting into today, but there are, uh, uh, it's, a good, it's a good comment, good question. And, uh, and the other point, venting, is the number one way that drama is feeded. People who don't know how to cope, they just talk and talk and they are creating damage. They may not realize it, oftentimes they don't, but everyone knows someone who talks a lot about other people, can't stop, seems to like it. Actually, people are miserable when they're talking about other people. And so the, the thing is, is that it's a, it's a way to vent and release energy. But energy is just energy. You can release it in a good way or in a bad way. You know, this energy of lightning, it can burn down a forest. It can also power your your stove. It can also heat, you know, power your electric car. Energy is energy. It doesn't have an opinion. It doesn't want to destroy things. It doesn't want to create things. It just is. What we do with it, with grounding, you can direct it in a way because you got to drain it somehow it's got to be directed you got to shift the context of it the question is are you going to transform it with tapping highly effective at letting that emotion express and the advantage of tapping is that it actually processes it through some kind of weird uh, uh, chinese uh, uh, medicine meridian point thing uh, it's uh, uh, or do you just let it build up until you just can't help it. It's like an obsession, you know? You have an itch. If you just leave the itch and you don't scratch it, it grows. Right now I have an itch in my neck and it's growing. It's growing and growing. At some point I'm just gonna... It feels better. Now, I didn't have to scratch it. I could go apply lotion 
that's gonna make it heal. That's gonna make it so that my nails don't cause more damage, that make me scratch more. Or I can just scratch a lot, feel really good, but then I got more damage. More allergens, more dust comes in. It irritates the neck more. And now, over time, I get eczema. I get I get a skin disease, atopic dermat, atopic dermatitis, or uh, or some some other kind of dermatitis. So it's a, a contact dermatitis. So excellent question. Thank you. And <clears throat> it's like in, in physics also uh, when it's lighting strike on brick building they put the grounding wires they put like wires on top of so light pass through yes from the buildings that. to don't destroy the buildings that's true so that's why from these three members i never did smell and test never ever i do sometimes tapping i but never i didn't like the flash part that when i tried so breathing i do all that even i do the lifting i'm breathing yeah. do, and even i'm driving and does it help that all the time help is help me and even I'm driving that time to watch yeah, that yeah. anytime and the, another thing which not here I do I do when I am stressed out everything I do uh, gardening laundry yeah. uh, and uh, uh, folding clothes and organize Excellent. with the numbers like three four five everything that all organized and I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you there it, this is a very important point. You must personalize your recovery to yourself. You must personalize your recovery to you. There's things on this that you don't that you've tried that don't work. I assure you everything works for everyone. You will learn a lot by working through the block to figure out how can you make flash work for you. How can you make tap? A lot of times tapping, people don't, tapping doesn't work. They, they're, they, they're not sensitive. They, they oftentimes are highly cooked in a lot of stress and they can't feel the difference between a 10 and a 9 because they're always at a 10 and a 9 feels the same, numb. So the thing is, is not all of these things will work initially. Usually one of them works better than the others initially, early on. Figuring that out, putting that into your self-therapy practice will make you go a lot faster. It'll shave months, maybe even years off your journey, just that one thing alone. And then you gotta personalize it. You gotta make it work for you. You gotta personalize it with your affirmations. If you haven't tried the smell thing, that does work for everything, actually. Because we don't smell a lot, so you should try it. Just take some peppermint and say something like, uh, when you, and do it when you're, when, do it when you're angry. Do it when you're upset. That's the time, because everyone is gonna feel calm when they, but a lot of times when you're upset, you'll find it. But you wanna make it a daily practice. So that, it's just like uh, in another video, I talk about climbing, Mount Everest, a big mountain. You might have a world-class ice pick that costs like a thousand dollars, but I've never climbed a mountain, I've never trained in that. It doesn't matter if I have a world-class thousand dollar ice pick or a one hundred dollar ice pick or like a free one that I got. I can use them all equally poorly. And any one of them will get me killed if I try to go use it on Mount Everest. So it's the skill. Whatever you do takes skill, and when you use a skill regularly, it, be, it is exponential in its power. The more you use it, the more powerful it gets. That's the nature of, of, of practicing. That's why we say we want to do it daily. You want to practice it daily. And over time, people who can't feel any difference with tapping can start to feel it. I remember when I first started doing yoga, my teacher would tell me, oh yeah, did you have an experience? I was like, I, I just feel relaxed. I don't know. I just Now I have sensitivity. I can feel the strange and different things that happen. But it wasn't always like that. 
But if I had stopped saying, oh, this doesn't do anything, no. then you've missed it. Everything here is mechanical, based in neurophysiology. It works. It has to work. You have to give it enough time and enough chances, and you got to try different ways. Seek some expert help or from, from colleagues. This is why we say connect to self, but connect to others too. Because when you do that, you'll get better and better. you get tips. How did I learn all this stuff? Because I keep connecting to other people. And over time, I make it my own. So that's what you have to do. And can do. And? Go ahead. And also, I do shopping. And in the shopping, I find deals. Everything in my home is from minimum 50% to 80% discount. Like everything. Like last time I buy a phone, I'd get $2,500 discount. Barbecue. Everything I'd like almost 60%, 70%. And I try to not buy shipping, free shipping. Another thing, and like breathing, what I'm thinking for breath, when we are said like breathe by nose, what I'm thinking is because when we uh, breathe through the nose, it uh, clean air go inside. When we hear inside the nose, they clean the, I think. Uh, and, and what's the comment? What's the what, what's your question? I don't question, I'm just, I, I, I don't have any question of comment. I, um, I will these. comment then on one thing that you said, shopping. So. When I say personalize your recovery to your, you, just remember, some things will look like grounding, but they're actually this. So a shopping addiction is a, is a real thing. If I'm stressed, I'm more likely to go home and get a bag of chips. No, that, not that kind of. No, I'm just saying. That's different. So the thing is, is that distraction can ground you, but at NOM especially, I like to combine healing and grounding together. So when you do tapping, you're not just grounding, you're also flowing that emotion out. And it's never going to come back. It's permanent. If you are learning to slow your breath, you're building a skill that will serve you your whole life. The more you ground yourself in ways like this, and the less you ground yourself in external things, because what do you do if you like shopping? What if you don't have any money? What if you don't have a car? What if you don't have the internet? Yeah, that, that's a then, different then, kind of then, shopping. Then the thing is, yeah, is totally that uh, uh, you're, you're, you're gonna be uh, in trouble. Yes. What if you don't have someone to vent to? What if you don't, so building internal sufficiency personalizing to yourself will absolutely transform uh, how you experience yourself and how others experience you. And yesterday we talked about how family networks stabilize. They stabilize when everyone who is in a family system, they char they're charged, they learn to ground themselves frequently throughout the day. And the whole system will start working better. Sometimes it's like every hour you have to ground yourself. So, any other questions? Online, any questions? About grounding? Or other comments? What was the recording? After yeah, recording? Uh, the recording or the after recording? Uh, is it about this? This is about shopping this thing. Oh, can we talk about that? Yeah. Uh, everything I say is meant to be general. So if I apologize, if I, I apologize if I offend. And so I appreciate you listening. So this was uh, uh, this was Norm's take uh, on grounding. Thank you. Bye.